Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today, I will be doing a review on my Bottega Veneta card holder. So this on the Bottega Veneta website is called the card case. I'm sure it has a more fancy name. For some reason, that means you know, they just put basic names on the website. Then you go in person, it's something totally different. For example, the Trendy CC is the top handle bag on the website, but it's called the Trendy CC. My Napa Maxi I had was also the top handle bag from Bottega. So it says card case. So if you're looking on the website, just type that in. And I also include a screen recording of everything about it. So the color I have here is light orange. It's not available on the website. I think it was like a seasonal color. I initially got it to match my padded cassette bag from Bottega. I semi reviewed this, or I did review it on another video. Just wanted to show y'all that it's the same exact color and I got them to match. I don't know why I do that. It's a bad idea. I don't do it anymore. I used to. It's called a card case. I'm going to quickly tell you like what is made out of the dimensions and all of that. It is an intri intrisciato Napa leather. It has six card slots as you can see and one additional compartment. Okay, so this is also a card slot. The other compartment I guess they're talking about is up here. It opens at the top as well. And it's light calf leather interior. So that's what this is lined with. As far as composition, 50% lambskin, 50% calfskin. So it's a mix of both. This is not kiwi. This is light orange. I'm showing you kiwi on the website though. This is 5.1 inches. This is 3.9. And then the depth is 0.2. This is 13 centimeters across here. 9.8 up and down and then depth which is this little small space is 0.5 centimeters made in Italy of course it also has a back zippered pocket as you can see now that I've showed you mine let me show you with both hands six card slots this little different looking slot here counts as one as well it goes all the way down and it has like an intricate cassette style similar to my cassette bag except it is like diagonal pattern and everything and as I mentioned has that big large pocket at the top and you can put coins back here in the zipper pocket okay let's talk about what I like and what I don't so I love the color orange is one of my favorite colors orange and green in case you didn't know that and it pairs perfectly with that bag when I wear it however I find myself or find when I wear that bag I never grab for this I rarely switch my card holders I only force myself to switch them when I'm using them too much so that the leather doesn't mess up or anything, or it doesn't crease, I guess. You know how when you wear cards or you put cards in your wallet for a long period of time, they start to get that pattern. I don't like that. So that's ultimately why I switch. It's never because I'm wearing a bag and I want to match. That being said, I shouldn't have got this. I shouldn't have gotten this. And that's not the only reason. Also, y'all know I typically wear smaller bags. This is way larger than a traditional card holder. I can't get past how much bigger that is. Look how much bigger that is. To so some people who wear normal size bags, that won't be an issue for you. But for me, I prefer smaller card holders now. That was before or after I bought this. So realizing that, that is when I stopped using this. And I had not used it that much as well. Pros. It has six card slots rather than your traditional four. You could stack two on top of each other and do eight but it holds four cards for sure you can also put one in the middle if you want it this one without stacking holds six so ultimately you can probably hold 12 and you can put some in there i wouldn't recommend that because it is a wide opening i do have some business cards these are my business cards it can fall out really easily see it can fall out super easily so i don't recommend putting cards in there maybe receipts Something like that, that won't easily slide up out, you know, something thin like that. Also a pro, I love the zippered pocket. So you don't have to, like you have with other card holders, there's nowhere to put your coins. You have to put them in here and hopefully they don't fall out. And all coins matter. So I like to have somewhere to put my coins because I use them just like I use cash. I'm not bougie enough to not use coins. So I, I like having this on the back. That's nice, it's a nice added feature. Only thing I wouldn't recommend putting too many in there because it can be bulky. Although it's a thin card holder, it can get thick pretty quickly. Another pro of course, Bottega leather is like amazing. It's like butter, literally the hype. It's basically 
pretty much real, okay? It's super high quality, okay? Also, for the size of this card holder, it is a lot cheaper than you might find others. Right now, it retails for $390, and it comes in several colors. That's another pro. Con. This color and other colors that are seasonal will not be available later. That's to be expected even with other brands like Chanel. They don't keep the same colors except maybe black, nude, red, you know, the colors that people buy all the time. But like seasonal colors like this one, you won't be able to find later. So you have to get it ASAP if you want it. Another con, the size. I talked about that. It's bigger than my other card holders. That's basically it. I don't have any other kinds because it's a great card holder. If you wear normal size bags, I mean, honestly, it does fit in all of my bags for the most part, except maybe my ridiculously sized Jacques Mousse and my little Nano baguettes from Fendi. Obviously this won't fit in there, but I'm trying to reduce the size of everything I put in there so I can fit more stuff that makes sense. And I don't want a big bulky card holder taking up space. And I also got this during a time where I had to have a matching card holder where I had to buy a card holder when I got the bag. I don't find it to be really necessary. Some people still are stuck on that, but I can't do that. It's too expensive and it makes no sense to have 50 card holders, in my opinion. If you have those, go off sis, okay? It's okay, I get you, because I did it before too. But yeah, I'll have a link to where you can get this down below. Definitely check it out if you're looking for a larger card holder, if you have more cards than just four. The average person has more than four cards between their ID debit card, credit cards, insurance cards. You need more than four, realistically. So it is a realistically great sized card holder. If you're looking for quality, affordability, and storage, definitely check it out. Y'all know I love Bottega. I'm like obsessed, literally. But again, the size mainly is the issue for me. And also I want to continue to get smaller and more compact. That's, that is the same thing, I said size. <laughs> Rate the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any Lux videos that go live. Don't forget to check out my secondary channel in case you're interested in checking out any makeup looks like this, because I post tons of those there. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.